take a look. access to the mission. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here, and then I'll meet you guys back up, because I'm actually going to have to keep playing to do this. So, I will see you guys here in a second. Hey everybody, Fantron here, and we're back. So let's start on the Zerg... Zerg... Search for that guy. Snake, Zadornov has Zadornov. escaped custody. Find him. It looks exactly how it sounds. Alright, let's be sneaky. Got the full to recovery, analyzer, all that junk. Okay. This is the start of chapter five. Outer Haven. Heaven. <laughs> Outer Heaven. Jesus. Find the doorknob and bring him back here with Fulton recovery. Yeah, we just gotta look for that crafty little butthole. Yeah, but he's hiding around here somewhere. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. And we got all this area to look for him into. He can be anywhere. Find the doorknob snake. Oh no shit. Stand a chance. Wait. Check any out of the way spots. I have a sneaking suspicion that doorknobs around there. Yeah. Give me both. Yeah, I might as well take you too. Yeah, but this this jerk went off somewhere and we have to find him. He definitely sticks out. Turning five. Start talking. 
start talking. Wrong answer. Start talking. Wilson recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Start talking. Start talking. Start talking. Start talking. Place is way out of the way, so is the other one. So if he's not here, he's definitely in the other one. There he is. Found him. What's that? Freeze. Damn. Damn. Bye. Head for the recovery zone. We'll pick you up there. Where is the recovery zone? Oh, right here. But yeah, so now we gotta play hide and seek with this asshole. Piece of cake, right? Because for some reason he's gonna. He got out. Now here's the thing spoiler alert, he's going to keep getting out. For some reason. Brought the doorknob back. <laughs> so, you found me. It wasn't hard. What are you up to, anyway? Just going for a stroll. Kaz, I got the doorknob. Returning home. Acknowledge, Snake. Obviously, we're not supposed to kill him. We're supposed to bring him back alive. I believe killing him immediately gives us a mission for you, boss. Huh? What? Yeah, looks like a cassette tape. Don't worry, it's clean. No trace of explosives or anything. Return address just says... Eva. Oh. Eva. Someone you know? Uh, an old, uh, acquaintance. Oh, the plot thickens. Tidings from an old flame? Don't start, Kaz. Anyway, I'll check it out later. Okay, just don't go running off after this chick. We can't afford for you to be distracted right now. There's something I need to discuss with you, boss. Damn. Get to the point, Kaz. We recovered the nuclear warhead that was loaded onto Peace Walker from the bottom of Lago Kosibolka. What? Warheads are radioactive, even if they're relatively stable. If we just left it there, it would contaminate the lake or fall into the hands of terrorists. Creating another crisis. Right. So while the White House is figuring out how to cover its ass, I thought we'd take some precautions. What did you have in mind? Load it onto Zeke. What? What else would we do with it? Zeek is our deterrent. To protect ourselves from nuclear attack, we need a nuclear weapon ourselves. Uh... Of course, if you're not on board, we could always dispose of it. But it won't be easy getting another nuke. This is a golden opportunity. We could always get rid of it later. Load it onto some fishing boat and leave it out in the middle of the ocean. No one would ever know it's there. But if you want to get rid of it, boss, we'll get rid of it. No, don't. As long as there are nukes out there, we need one ourselves if we're going to be a world power. I knew you'd see it that way, boss. So as long as we stand apart from nations, we need something to put us on equal footing. In a way, MSF is a country itself. And we just became the world's seventh nuclear power. 
nuclear power. Bad news, Snake. Zidornov's on the loose. <laughs> what? Again? It's funny. We took away his prosthetic and did a full body check. We even increased the guard. You think he had help? Impossible. Anyway, I'm adding a new mission. Locate and recover Zadornov. Do you think you guys think he had help? How does how the hell does one keep getting loose? How? I think it should should not ever be possible. But it keeps getting loose. This is only the second time, too. I have to do this quite a bit. A new plant has been built thanks to staff efforts. Other base has been expanded. So let me check. Let's look at the expansion. Because I saw, I saw it was being built. expansion there. It looks really good. Oh, don't do that. Not that I'm going to be using any of these. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be quite far few in between before I use any of these weapons. These aren't done yet. Oh, uh, I got a cassette tape. Oh, I know where to find those. I didn't even think about that. So before we go visit Sadornov. M16A1. Other weapons are not allowed. Huh. That's interesting. Don't know how the hell I'm gonna do that, because I probably won't. Okay. Uh, maybe it's in my mission or my briefing files. Snake, Zidornov's disappeared from his cell again. Find him. Yeah, yeah. Briefing files. There we go. Everybody's got their own separate little things there. About this mission. Nobody has anything about this mission but data files. Here we go. Hello, Snake. It's been a while, hasn't it? I hear you've been causing quite the ruckus in Nicaragua. Nothing much to report from my end. The legacy is being put to good use. Or so they tell me. But enough with the small talk. There's something I need to tell you. You saw the photo that came with this tape, right? The boss gave that to me. Ten years ago. I'm sorry, I should have told you sooner. I probably should have told you right away. But sending it to you hasn't been an easy decision to make. It's taken me ten years. Once you've heard what I have to say, you'll understand why. That photo belonged to her. I know what you're thinking. What does she have to do with this? 
You've probably seen it a hundred times in the press already. Obviously, it's of the Mercury 7, the first group of American astronauts, the heroes of Project Mercury. But there were actually eight people in that photo. One of them was edited out, erased, without a trace. That eighth astronaut, the one airbrushed out of existence, that was her, Snake. Now why did they need to keep her existence a secret? What were they trying to hide? The answer goes back even further. 17 years ago. It was the height of the Cold War. The Eastern and Western blocs were racing to develop space technology to match their nuclear arsenals. In 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite. The Americans were stunned. They'd been led to believe their country led the world in science and technology. That shock quickly turned into fear. If the Russians had the know-how to launch a satellite into space, they could use it to launch a nuclear missile, too. Frantic, the U.S. threw everything it had into the space race. The following year, the Army succeeded in launching the first American satellite, Explorer 1. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration was established that fall, and Project Mercury with it. The goal was to send a man into space, Seven men were chosen as pilot candidates. The media dubbed them the Mercury Seven. They were immediately hailed as national heroes, icons of Western space exploration. But after Explorer, America suffered a series of failed rocket launches. Desperate, the government made a fateful decision. Unable to wait for its space program to mature, they'd steal the Soviets' technology at the same time sabotaging their space program. You know better than anyone how hard a mission that was. The Soviet space program was shrouded in secrecy. Recovering that information would be no easy task. Using the help of an insider, they'd insert a sleeper agent into the research institute, or else recruit one of those insiders to do the job for them. And if necessary, the mission leader would have to go in and sort things out themselves. Someone was needed with experience, knowledge, and superior intuition. And the only one for the job was the boss. The president himself asked for her by name. He needed someone who could be trusted with the fate of a nation. Who else to turn to but the hero of the Second World War? It was June 1959, so you see, Snake, that's why she left. That was the top secret mission that took her from you. But her selection ruffled a few CIA feathers. They didn't appreciate the president going over their head like that. The mission was tough enough already, and now the CIA was dragging its feet. She couldn't get anything out of them. No manpower, no information. Left to her own devices. The boss made a decision she knew would come back to haunt her. She decided to tap into the Philosopher's Network. And that's when the wheels of fate began to turn. Alright, that was the first session. Oh damn, there's seven of these? Ooh. I might put them on put them all in their own separate video. Maybe. That's a lot. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's get this fucker. here with Fulton Recovery. I don't wanna... What if I just kill him now and... Let that be the end of it. Where Start is he? Talking. Don't care. Recovery helicopter is complete. 
Oh, might as well check him out too. See? Nah. Right? Yeah, nah. Nah. Well, odds are he's probably in here. Hiding in plain sight. A fucking idiot. Oh, darn! They caught me! Foo, 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 foo. I just gotta find this sassy shithead and uh, bring him back. Somewhere around here. Ugh. Oh, there we go. I had to pop my neck. Bomb box. Search every inch of that area. I know he's here. Shut the hell up. I can't see shit, that's all. I didn't bring night vision. You know me. At least somewhere where I can definitely stick him up and be like, hey. Oh, he's right there. He's laying down. Can I just stick it on him? Oh, hey, hold on. Man, that would be very helpful. Hmm. Freeze down. Is he shaking in his boots? That's funny. You guys said you uh, took his prosthesis. Okay, you're done with that area. Head for the goal. You guys said you took his prosthesis. He still had it. I knew you could do it. Piece of cake, right? He still has prosthesis, guys. You guys lied to me. Kaz, I caught Zadornov. Impossible. I thought I'd made it. Acknowledged and appreciated. Snake, Zadornov has disappeared from his cell. <sighs> what? You're kidding, right? Yeah. Afraid not. You got a new mission. Find Zadornov. Yeah, no, I figured you'd be kidding, but you, you were kidding because that doesn't make any sense. How does he keep getting out? Got out again. We're not even gonna send Snake this time. Wait, unless they tell me to. We're not even gonna send Snake this time. Snake, Zadornov's disappeared from his cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Did we just not send Snake this time? Oh, uh, we're just gonna send Snake this time. Let me, uh, put him in sneaking. Stealth. Um, fuck. We're not gonna use the banana for this one. We're just gonna... Sam's a doorknob, but we did five missions now, and after that, then it'll go to four, then it'll go to three, then it'll go to two. So we're gonna have to do this a few more times. It's actually a little ridiculous. Find the doorknob and bring considered. him back here with Fulton recovery. I wonder where he is. Hmm. Where or oh where indeed? Where could he possibly be hiding? Huh, well, this guy's just sitting here. What are you doing? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Freeze. Ah! Yeah, yeah, you're going, you're coming with me. Come here. Bang, bang. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Somebody there? Nothing. <gasps> He's about to sock some shit just now. Ah, don't need you. What about you? Gonna go to sleep, okay? <sighs> I wonder in which area could he be in? The furthest area? You know, something tells me we've already been here before with this asshole. Make sure I get a few of these guys in. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. <sighs> mm -mm -mm -mm. 